so I was up late one night thinking about Smash Bros and what characters would be awesome if they added them to the roster, you know, normal things, when it suddenly hit me, there's not many robotic characters in the game. We have Mega Man, Rob, and I guess you can count Samus in her power suit. She might not be a robot, but she does wear robotic armor. So I guess it counts. I'm a fan of robots and mecha, so wanting more robots in anything really isn't strange thinking for me. Anyways, here's the top 10 robotic characters I want to smash. I stuck mainly to Nintendo-owned characters because if I didn't, this list would be full of Mega Man and Sonic characters, honestly. Also, for the record, I think most of these characters do not have a chance, and I mean, I don't think they have a chance, repeat, do not have a chance of making it into the game. This is just a fun robotic dream wish list, and if you don't agree with it, that's just fine. Alright, let's get to it. Ten. QQQ from F-Zero GX, or is it QQ, however you pronounce it. We need another character from F-Zero and Smash. We also need a new F-Zero game, but that's a different topic in conversation. QQQ is the pilot of the Rolling Turtle, with a complicated story involving time travel and becoming a partner of a, some detective. What's surprising about QQQ is that uh, he is one of the few robots in the F-Zero games, not including cyborgs. For a game about futuristic racing, you'd think they would have a few more. QQQ has an okay design. He reminds me of a droid from Star Wars, honestly. I mostly put him on the list because I want to represent F-Zero, and I really like the design of the Rolling Turtle. But he could be an interesting fighter. I mean, they gave Captain Falcon a cool moveset, pretty much based off nothing, so they could do the same thing for him. Nine. Genosec from Pokemon. Can you consider him robotic? I'm not too sure. Genosec is another artificial Pokemon, and in its description in Black and White 2, it says that Team Plasma altered it and attached a cannon to its back, and you can also change the drive on the cannon to change the attack, so it's at least some kind of cyborg. Maybe I should have chosen Majorina. I know it's a robot. Whatever, either way, I'm counting Genosect. Genosect has a cool design, and is one of my favorite looking Pokemon. I mean, just look at it. Doesn't it look cool? Psh, whatever, I think it looks cool at least. I know most people will complain we already have too many Pokemon in the game, and I guess that's true, but then again, how can you have too many Pokemon? They're awesome, and Genosec would make an awesome robotic addition who would be able to use different elemental attacks instead of just one standard kind, which would be different from any other Pokemon already in the game. Eight. Nabbots or Big G from Star Fox Guard. I couldn't decide between the two. I like both and think they would both make good inclusions to the game. Nabot is a robot version of Nabbit from the Super Mario games, and I love the design of it. It looks very cool. In the game, Nabots are not very strong, but have good speed, so I could see him be a fast fighter that doesn't dish out a lot of damage per attack, but can land several quick hits to make up for it. The Big G, I love that name, is a big old gorilla looking robot, which is the opposite of Nabots. They are much slower and can take a lot of damage before going down, so I could see the Big G as a slow powerhouse that can deal and take a lot of damage, but its attacks and movements are a lot slower to balance them out. Like I said, I like both the robots. They're well designed and I think they could be made to work in the game, but I guess if I were made to choose one of them, like someone had a gun to my head or something for the game, it would probably be uh, Nabot, since at least he's based on a character that people are familiar with. Still, I think the Big G is awesome. Seven. Robo Mario from Mario Kart Arcade GP. Hey, did you know there was a Robot Mario? And no, I don't mean Metal Mario or those wind-up toys from the Mario vs Donkey Kong series. Japan has three exclusive arcade Mario Kart games which actually featured the first crossover between Pac-Man and Mario. In the first two games, during the Rainbow Cup, you have to beat Robot Mario in a race on the Rainbow Coaster level. There's nothing very notable about the character, other than he was created by Professor E. Gad and is a cheater because he gets infinite items in the race while you get zero. I just find it interesting that there is an actual Robot Mario that has only been in two games, but Nintendo chooses to use Metal Mario instead which to me is just a color swap version of the character. It would be cool to see Robot Mario make appearances in other games, including Smash. I just think he would make a better visual opponent than Metal Mario, 
And a crazy evil Robo Mario could be a cool antagonist, I think. Six. Rob64 from Star Fox. Rob is named after the NES accessory Rob, who's already a character in Smash, and the Nintendo 64, the system he premiered on. Unlike the rest of the Star Fox crew, Rob has never been an air wing pilot. He acts as a support, sending team equipment, and he also pilots the Great Fox. I think he's kind of an underrated member of the team, and while he doesn't look like much of a fighter in his original designs, in a lot of his newer art, he looks like he could jack some people up. I mean, just look at him. It's like he hit the gym and bulked up. A lot of people want Crystal in the game, which I wouldn't mind, but come on people, show Rob some love. Five. Ribbon Girl from ARMS Okay, I might be cheating on this one. The game isn't out, but I'm just guessing from what I've seen so far. The characters from ARMS are robots, right? I mean, they have to be unless they found people willing to have their arms chopped off and replaced with expendable limbs. And also, look at those eyes. Those aren't normal human looking eyes. Either way, they have robotic parts, so the characters count. And specifically, Ribbon Girl. I love the character designs of ARMS. Everyone looks unique and cool. And right now, Ribbon Girl is my favorite out of the cast. So far, at least. I think she would make a great new character for Smash and would add something different visually and when it comes to gameplay. I mean, since her arms are her weapons and they would stretch out, I wonder how they would get it to work. It would be interesting and I'm sure if anyone could make it work, it would be Sakurai. Four. Chibi Robo from Chibi Robo. Ah, Chibi Robo. The little robot that can't make it to the big time. Chibi Robo has a great design and some pretty good games. Not really great games, just okay ones. But he must have some fans because he keeps getting new games and he even got an amiibo. The poor little guy just needs a big break, honestly. And there's no bigger break than being included in a Smash game. The game can help build interest in the character and honestly, I think he would fit right in using his power cord and several his attacks. Most Nintendo fans are also familiar with him, and he does have over 10 years of legacy with Nintendo, so he would make a good fit for the game. Probably more so than most of the other characters on this list, I think. Meta Ridley from Metroid Prime Meta Ridley really isn't a robot, he's more of a cyborg. After he was defeated by Samus, Space Pirates revived him and upgraded him with a cybernetic technology making him much stronger than he was before, and giving him a mouth beam laser, missiles, and several other cool weapons. Technically, Meta Ridley has been in a Smash Bros game before. He was a boss in Brawl during the Space Emissary story. Ridley is cool, a mainstay of the Metroid series, and a lot of people already want him in Smash, so why not Meta Ridley, which I think is the better version honestly. I know people complain that he's too big, but I think they can shrink him down to an acceptable size to make him playable. I mean, are people really going to care that he's not an accurate in size over being playable? I know I wouldn't. I would be too busy unleashing his mecha madness on some people. Ray01 from Custom Robo With those not familiar with the game, in it, you control small robots called Robos and battle against other people and their Robos. That's pretty much it. There is more to it, but that's really all you need to know. In each game, the first Robo you get is one from the Ray series, and the one I like the most, or at least I think looks the coolest, is Ray Zero One from the GameCube game, which was the first game in the series released outside of Japan. I just think the design looks great, and stands out more than the simple designs of the other main Ray models in the series, but really, any of the Ray Robos would make an awesome inclusion to Smash. We've already had some trophies from the series in Melee, and MK3 has an assist trophy in Brawl, so we know there is some love for the series, but Smash Wii U in the 3DS version didn't represent the game at all. We're talking no trophies or even assist trophies from the game. What gives Nintendo? To make it up to us, I think Nintendo should include a fighter from Custom Robo, specifically Ray Zero One. I mean, it's a robot built for fighting, it just makes sense to include it in a fighting game. Kirby in his Robobot armor, power suit from Kirby Planet Robobot. So it was a hard choice between Ray01 
and while Razor 1 would be a more unique choice, I couldn't help but want to play as Kirby in his ride armor. When I first saw the trailer for Planet Robobot, I was like, Kirby driving a mech? Hell yeah, count me in. I mean, just look at him. Doesn't he look awesome in that thing? Well, I think he does. I mean, come on. It's cute little Kirby riding in a death machine. And yeah, the armor doesn't look that intimidating, but don't let it fool you. That thing can devastate some enemies and crush skulls, and I would love to take it into battle in the Smash series. And I think Kirby and his suit would play differently enough that he would definitely not be a clone character. At least he wouldn't be Mario cosplaying as a doctor. And it would be awesome to see how the armor transforms when it steals another character's powers. I just really think it would make for a fun character and would satisfy my need for more mecha in the game. Well, that's it, my top 10 robotic characters I want in Smash. Don't take this list too seriously, it's just a fun wish list, and I'm pretty sure most of these characters will never make it into a Smash game. But it doesn't hurt to dream, that's one of the fun things about Smash, you never know who's gonna make the cut, and I would be happy to see any of these characters in a Smash game. Alright, that's it, what do you think of the list? Are there any other robots that would make great additions to the game? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Hey, if you like this video, we have several other awesome videos you can check out. And again, thanks for watching.